Yeah, guys, it's happening. Here we go. I'm having to watch a YouTube video over it just to so I don't do it wrong. But we got whatever that I think is a developer. We got the toner, and then we got over bleach stuff, and then uh, what? More developer? What? Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today I'm going to be telling you what the hell happened because I'm wearing a hat when it's 87 degrees out and there's a good explanation to it because I'm just who I am and just a very random person. So, do I want to share this with you right now? Not really, but you know what? Do that or I wear a hat like this for the rest of the time for another six, seven months? No, not that long. Probably like it's just be a long time. What I'm about to show you is unexplainable. Yep, that's right. Yep, I bleached my hair. So you know the first time when I did it? Yeah, that uh, that didn't go out so well because I used actual like hair dye and that stuff just didn't work. So this time I bleached my hair and I can tell you this, it was painful. I watched this YouTuber, his name is Mark Doer, I think it is. I think that's how he spells this. How he or says his last name. I think it's Mark Dover. I watched this tutorial. He's like, yeah, it's going to hurt. I'm like, okay. That's great to know. And, of course, I do it to myself. And next thing I know it, I'm like, ouch. This is actually hurting more than I thought it would. Like, it was burning. So, I had chemical burns, actually. I did it all right. I mean, I did exactly what he was doing. Maybe not the right amounts, which may have caused the burns, but... Long story short, I had chemical burns, but now they're gone. They weren't that serious, but they really, it just, the entire thing just hurt. But yes, I bleached my entire, well, not my entire head, but just the entire top part of it. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below. Personally, some people say I look like a gay Q-tip. Some people say I look pretty good. Some other people just say don't ever do it again, which... Trust me, I'm never doing it again unless I do it professionally because it hurt a lot. I just really wanted to get to my natural hair color before I did this, but I was like, wait, if I get a haircut before this and I die, then it's, I don't know. Maybe I should have just done that, but I was thinking like, oh yeah, if I get a haircut when I do this, then it's not going to look as bad. I don't know why I didn't fall through with that. But guys, this is what we have. I am a blonde Q-tip now. No longer... I mean, my roots are actually coming in already, but that's only a day's worth. So we still got another six, I mean, like, maybe four months at the most. But by then, all this is going to be gone. Because otherwise, it's, my hair is going to be past my ears by then. Which, I'm not looking forward to having long hair, because I never have long, had, had long hair since probably about fourth grade, I'm assuming. So, yeah, I'm not about to go there again. Yeah, so I kind of just forgot that, oops. I'm zooming in, zooming out. There we go. I'm already good. I think so. So, forgot that I had a midterm tomorrow, which means I, I have to study. I'm going to study, but it's for Spanish, and I'm good with Spanish. It's just the beginning level, so I feel confident enough about it. However, it's still a test. I still suck at testing. I will always suck at testing, probably, unless I'm really passionate about it. But in the best case scenario right now, I could get an A+. Plus. The worst case scenario right now, I could probably get a low A, but I just hate tests. I hate taking tests. I don't even make my bed in half the time because I just... Guys, I'm a mess sometimes. I'm a human being just like you. It's... Yeah. You know, I just make sometimes stupid decisions. I mean, I'm not saying this was a stupid decision. It definitely wasn't a smart one, but it's not saying I'm a, it was a stupid decision. We're here. My sister's leaving. Uh, I did forget to mention that she was actually on fall break so she was home for the past four days the whole weekend so it was really nice she's downstairs but she's about to leave so but i'll see her probably like in four days because i'll probably hang out with her because then i go on fall break which is four days and i'm gonna be filming and i'm gonna be making youtube videos like non-stop you're damn right i have my shirt off you know why because well for one thing my mom, this is totally off topic, but my mom actually got me these, which are really nice because I'm trying to have lights in my closet that I don't have to charge constantly. So luckily this is just a switch and I guess it dies when it dies, but um, it's great. I'm very thankful for that. But I have my shirt off because my scab freaking ripped off. So now I'm in pain. It's 
The one on the lower back, the other ones are like, I guess, healing and they're starting to peel off, but it hurts so bad. So, yeah, now I'm sticking through the pain a little bit and it kind of just doesn't feel good at all. So, uh, yeah. I, I was working out yesterday and I think when I was uh, bench pressing, I I felt a tug and I guess it was the, um, the scab that just... And it got stuck in my shirt because I didn't see anything and I guess it fell out when I went to the parking lot, so... I'm like still gross, but at least it's not in the facility where they have to clean it up, so yeah. Whoops. Okay, so it's the morning of the midterm, and I have the midterm in about two hours. So yeah, I'm flipping out. I don't know. The day's not even that good either, because it's raining. Okay, so guys, I do have to eat, and then honestly, I have to go. That's it. That's all I have to do. So wish me luck, and I'll see you when I get back. Okay, guys, a little bit of an update. Not only was the midterm actually not as easy as I thought it would be, but... Oh. Kata, what did you learn? What did you do? <laughs> 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 oh, gee, he didn't do anything. <laughs> he, ate, he ate our dinner. <laughs> he broke a whole plate and everything. I don't know. Oh, he's in trouble. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Actually, it's not funny because now we don't have dinner. But look at it, you can see some of the plate over here, and it broke over there. Come here, you fluffy doggy. Come here. Psst. Come on. I want you right here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, well, you're not in trouble. With me, at least, but with mom, yes. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, I got you. Uh -huh. Alright, let me just say this. I'm sorry for all the updates, but here's another one. My lymph node, you guys can see it. Oh my god, that's bad. Yeah, it got swollen, still swollen. So tomorrow, I'm going to go to the doctors and get it checked out. And hopefully, it's not cancer. I'm guessing it's not because I mean, it, I literally just got over a cold less than a week ago, and I'm probably still sick that I didn't even know it. So yeah, this thing is, it's quite large compared to the other one. Like the other one's normal, ish. It's a little bit swollen, but this one's just huge. So I gotta go to the doctor for that, and then we'll see what happens. Hopefully I get antibiotics, and I'm gonna hate them every single time. But as long as I'm healthy and good, and able to be my full spirit on my videos, then fine. But anyways, that's what's happening. Alright, well guys, it is time to go to the doctors, even though it's already 12, and I thought I was gonna go at like 10, but I woke up late, and I'm going to, uh, finish getting dressed, because I think it's actually really cold outside, it's especially since that Hurricane Michael's here, or was here, I'm not in Florida, but I'm just saying. So, since it is fall, we gotta get this stuff on, make sure we're all warm and toasty, and then we're gonna go to the doctors and see what's wrong with my lymph node, and that's gonna be the whole video, because... Yeah, but I can't exactly take you guys along because it is a hospital, so it's not like a normal clinic where you can just go in and see everything. I get that people film baby videos and stuff like that, but again, this is a hospital rather than a thing like this. So, I don't think they'd really enjoy me filming that in there. So, we're just going to do that and then I'm going to just share the news with you after I get out. But other than that, that's really the day. Guys, I did also forget to mention that every time I go to this clinic, I normally do end up getting sick. Even after something I already had, I end up just getting even sicker than what I did. So hopefully I can break that streak. But again, we're going to find out and wish me luck. Put down in the comments, prayers for Robbie. Because I, I hate being sick. You guys know this. I hate being sick. So, anyways, we're going to go do that. Let's go. A few minutes later. Basically, I went to the doctor, obviously. And they were saying that most likely it's an infection. Just because you just got over a cold less than a week ago. Which, that was my thought. But my other concern was that, you know, it was something way worse. And then when my when this uh, nurse told me that it could be lymphoma if the uh, antibiotics don't work, which means that's not good because that means I need to get an ultrasound on my neck, and that's not good. So my worst fear is that it could be that, but then again, I just got over sickness, so I'm doubtful that it is that. I'm guessing it's just an infection like this. So I haven't had to get antibiotic, like actual antibiotics in so long, so I doubt it's really something like that. So I don't know, let's just hope and pray. Thanks dude, the bomb. 
and just let me right on through. That's so great. I don't know when I get my antibiotics, but uh, yeah, long story short, I just hope it's nothing too, too bad. Now let me explain to you what really in depth, in detail about like what this is. So yeah, I do realize I explained a little bit about it already, but here's the thing. We don't know what it is. We don't know the diagnosis. We don't know if it's uh, lymphinitis or whatever it's called, but um, you know, I could. I, you know what, let me, let me just make a graph. Okay, now that I have a paper and a pen, 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 blah, blah, blah. Sharpie, let me make a graph. Okay, so there, there, there. So, okay, we have our graph simulator here that is done. So here we go. This is our graph right now, okay? So I'm about, I'm here. I'm not even on the graph right now. Okay, I am here. Okay, so this is lymphitis or whatever whatever that medical term is called. I'm about here because we don't know if it's this. Now, with the antibiotics that were prescribed to me, it could be this. So this is the absolute worst case scenario. This is what he said it could be the worst case scenario, which that's if I need an ultrasound after 10 days and blah, 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 a whole bunch of other medical terms that I don't know. So I'm about here. So... As you can see, I'm not too, too worried about, like, the overall after effect. So now that we have that all sorted out and stuff, now that we can actually just chill out, I don't know when I'm supposed to get my prescription, but I know for a fact these pills are not going to be the smallest ones, and I already hate taking pills that it is. So I'm going to go make myself some hot tea and play with the doggies a bit, and then shred this Paper. So basically it was just the main thing of like man it is just swollen and that was the biggest thing so now that we're there uh, Fish tanks looking pretty good. Oh, I'll give you an update about that, too So basically the fish tank had excessive nitrates and nitrites on it Which means that basically when the fish die they produce nitrites I think or nitrates and when that causes that, it causes the water to be somewhat, like, brown. But we also had, like, bulbs that I put in that were basically live plants. And they needed a specific soil that to grow in. And, of course, no one told us that. We were just winging it with the sand. And they were still growing, but then they just died, like, maybe a month later. So they weren't getting to their full potential. So then they rotted, and the water was all brown. So then we had the two fish die. So, long story short... That was the cause. It was basically laws or a lot of nitrates and a lot of nitrites in the fish tank, but now it seems to be all good. The water's clear. Bah. Okay, so guy, I just went out, got my prescription, and turns out, let's just say that you expect the pills probably to be a little bit smaller than uh, normal ones or maybe the size of vitamins, right? Well, no, 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 no. These are horse pills. I have to take one of these. I have to take two of these twice a day for 10 days and hopefully it cures this giant peanut that's in my my neck that you call a lymph node so yeah basically i have to do that for 10 days so now that we got the prescription all good just wait and see i guess that's all that's all i can hold for all right and this part may be a little bit dis disturbing or maybe a little bit disgusting to you guys but uh basically i am going to swallow this thing on the vlog I, knew, and I know most of you may not like this most of you may like this. I don't know, but it's staying near close to 930. It's 927. So bottoms up, I guess Honestly, I don't know how that went down so smoothly. I literally I, I have no words I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family have a good time with them and Maybe wish me some, you know, good luck and hope you get better in the comments. Just, just a personal opinion here, just because I really just want to get over this. I literally thought I was over the cold, but I'm not, obviously. So, guys, thank you again for watching. If you did make it to the end, don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. Have a good time with them. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.